time that I get an award uh, for my teaching, it's a sad day uh, for the state of education in this country. It's a great day for me. Um, I'm a fourth generation teacher. Uh, I had hoped that my stepdaughters would follow into teaching, but every time I came to school, I brought them to school in the summertime, they wanted to leave with a different teacher. Um, there's a lot of people that I, I, I want to thank for this. Um, first of all, Ms. Robinson, when I came into U.S. history, she gave me a textbook that had a table of contents at both ends. I want to thank Mr. Uh, Coach Nails next door for bullying me for three and a half years, four years, and for Coach Harville for looking the other way. But I remember when I got here and I uh, signed a contract with Mr. Orr for $39,000, which was a lot of money. My wife and I didn't have that much money. We had to borrow the money from a lot of people. I remember we stood up all night, stayed up all night, you know, we were counting the money. I had some money in the jar, so I had to pay Mr. Orr to come work here. I mean, I am the best there is, okay? All right, it's, it's pure and simple. Myself and Coach Nails are the only Division I athletes that actually were, because there, there were Division I athletes in school. So, you know, I don't know if, if Coach Nails played any conference championships, but I ran and I competed in three conference championships. I to thank a ship and Ian at Vineyard Vines for the fine clothes I wear. I had to thank Brooks Brothers for making fine suits for men since the 1840s. I want to thank uh, my teller at Regions Bank every morning. Uh, I think her name is Peggy. I want to thank Dunkin' Donuts uh, for making a fine cup of coffee every day. I want to thank Oak Hall for, for, for selling on cloud running shoes. I want to thank uh, the people, you know, for making oatmeal at 8 in the morning, quick oatmeal. I, I want to thank uh, Chick-fil-A. I want to thank uh, Chick-fil-A and the fine product. That they, that they have every day. I like to thank my first black class, uh, in particular, uh, Keelan Anderson, for making me realize that there are some days where I'm just not gonna win. I like to thank uh, Janelle Marquez. Uh, she helped me in uh, dual credit U.S. history. I taught that class. Um, I like to thank uh, Aliyah Muhammad sitting next to me, uh, even though she blocked my view last night of the basketball game uh, at times. <laughs> Um, apparently her father is not a glass maker because I cannot see through her. Ladies and gentlemen, your teacher of the month, Eilerts. Welcome to Eagle Vision for Thursday, February 17th, 2022. I'm Danny. And I'm Egypt. And today's top story highlights the Career Tech West facilities and some of the programs that you can attend. You can sign up for any of the CTC West programs by logging onto our school website, hornlakehigh.com, by clicking the CTC West link. All right, we are here at the Career Tech 
Center, and this is Career Tech West, yes. and I am here with the principal, Miss Kilo. Tell us a little bit about this center, because a lot of students don't know what it is. Okay, sure, I'm excited to tell you about it. Um, we are right here in Horn Lake, and we serve five schools on the west side of the district. So Lake Cormorant, Horn Lake, DeSoto Central, mm -hmm. Hernando, South Haven come to us during one of their classes during the day. Okay, and how long are those classes, are those blocks? They are with us for an hour and a half, and they get a high school credit for each time they come. They'll come their junior and senior year, all from August to May, both years. So up to four credits. Okay, so it's they'll be in they'll be over here quite a bit. Yes. When they when they commit to these classes. That's right. And uh, of course, I see some students drive onto campus, and then there are bus options as well. Explain that. Yes. Okay. So seniors can drive. That's one of the perks of continuing in the program. Uh, but juniors, we do want them to get on a bus unless there's a scheduling conflict. Bob Moses was an American educator and civil rights activist, known for his work as a leader of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee on voter education and registration in Mississippi during the civil rights movement. He is also known for his co-founding of the Mississippi Freedom Democratic Party. Born and raised in Harlem, he was a graduate of Hamilton College and later earned a master's degree in philosophy at Harvard University. He spent the 1960s working in the civil rights and anti-war movements until he was drafted in 1966 and left the country, spending much of the following decade in Tanzania teaching and working with the Ministry of Education. After returning to the U.S. in 1982, Moses received a MacArthur Fellowship and began developing the Algebra Project. The math literacy program emphasizes teaching algebra skills to minority students based on community organizing and collaboration with parents, teachers, and students in order to improve college and job readiness. His legacy still lives on in modern education systems today. The 
This week's featured vocabulary words are glaring, hardship, hurdle. Glaring, extremely obvious or conspicuous. Hardship, severe suffering or deprivation. Hurdle, move or cause to move at a great speed, typically in an uncontrolled manner. It is now time for today's announcements. Pay attention, we're moving fast. Prom will be April 14th. Students are interested in bringing a date from outside Horn Lake High. You must fill out a guest request form. The guest must be within DeSoto County District, under 21 years of age. From the 2020 or 2021 classes or another DeSoto County, students or graduate. No one from outside the district will be allowed to attend. Your guest must have a copy of their ID turned in with the guest form. Forms are on the board outside of the front office. Forms are due to Ms. McClung by March 9th. Students, if you're interested in being on the Eagle Vision cast next year, the application process is now officially open. Head to hornlakehigh.com and click the application link in the carousel in the middle of the page. Seniors, it's time to start emailing us your pictures for the senior video. Open up your photos on your phone and send us the best pics of you and your friends. Send the pictures to hornlaketv at gmail.com. Horn Lake is forming a golf team. If you're interested in playing golf, see Coach Farter for details. Are you planning on going to prom? EVTV wants to air your prom poses on the show. Be creative. We'll only be airing the best ones. You can email us your prom poses to hornlaketv at gmail.com. Prom will be April 14th, and, and the tickets will go on sale later, later this month. We got several new clips on our YouTube channel that you won't see here on the show. Mr. Lewis recently posted a video showing us how to make some of the best cheese pieces you ever tasted. Check out our other content by subscribing to our YouTube channel. That's, That's it for today's episode here at Horn Lake. We are better students, always growing and expecting more. Stay tuned for your lunch menus and athletic schedules. We'll see you here Tuesday. Have a fantastic break. Ha <laughs> ha!